Hey guys, so today I thought I would do an updated Harry Potter room tour. The last room tour video I did was last year, the beginning of last year I think, and the room has changed a little bit since then. This is not, you know, like a brag video or anything, I just thought some of you guys might be interested in seeing the room in more detail. So this is the start of the room, obviously this is outside of the room, but it's my giant uh, door poster, which I've shown many a time, and it's very battered at the moment. I think this was bought on eBay, but I just love it. It lets every Everybody know what they're getting themselves into because you can see it from downstairs so <laughs> they realize that I am a nerd from the off really <laughs> <laughs> so walking into the room, this is what you can see. Obviously the layout has changed quite a bit, sorry about the focus there. So we'll start at the other side of the door. Apologies for the lighting in here. Still, and you're gonna kill me, I've said this in so many videos, I still haven't changed the blooming light bulb. But up at the top there we have some floating candles that me and my dad made. I have a set of those in my room as well. Then we have this shelf here, which you won't be able to see very well, but it has a lot of my, in fact all of my sticker kit things on there. These are from the Harry Potter chest set. Then we just have this wall, um, what do you call it? Wall plaque of the Hogwarts uh, crest there. We have my movie poster here. This was a gift from my best friend Katie, so thank you Katie. Then we have a couple of door hangers. We have a Fantastic Beasts one. And a Harry Potter one that just says Wizards Welcome. Then we have another poster down there and just a couple of bookmarks from the Warner Brothers Studio Tour. Moving on, we have an empty space here which needs filling. But we have a couple of newspaper articles just lining the walls up there. There, Clemence Posey who played Fleur Delacour. We have my Lumos and Knox sign. Then we have my Bellatrix Exchange poster which was from the Warner Brothers Studio Tour. I got this the first time I went to the tour I believe. We also have this Harry Potter poster. This is double-sided, I think, but obviously I can't show you the other side. Then going down here, this is uh, quite fun. This is a promotional item, and I can't remember where it's from. Uh, I want to say I got it from Waterstones uh, for free, but I can't bloody remember where I got the thing from. Moving on, we have quite a few of my necklaces. So we have the plastic time turner, which came with the sticky kits. A lot of these are from eBay. So we have Hermione's uh, wedding necklace. Obviously not Hermione's wedding, but Bill and Fleur's wedding. We have the Ravenclaw diadem necklace. We have a time turner, another one, and uh, one of many Deathly Hallows. <laughs> and then a Slytherin necklace here. I think that's it behind there. Then we have this from Primark. It's like a chalkboard with chalk behind that says don't let the muggles get you down. Then there's a promotional, uh, I've framed it, but there's a promotional postcard here. Uh, you can't see it very well at all, but that's the same sort of promotion as that. We have more necklaces. So we have the um, Philosopher's Stone. These are more from the sticky kit. So we have Harry's wand, Voldemort's wand, and there's the prophecy ball I was talking about. We have some more Slytherin necklaces here. We have an always necklace, which is pretty cool. And this is from the sticker kit as well. It's the uh, Horcrux locket. And for the longest time, I'm so thick, I didn't realize that it actually opened, but it does. And then here, this is quite funny. This is one of my funniest items. I paid a lot of money for this, shamefully, and I don't even want to tell you. It's just a promotion for the Harry Potter toothbrush and toothpaste. We have a Death Eater mask necklace. We have the Hufflepuff cup. And we have a kind of replica of the necklace that Lavender Brown gave to Ron, or one one. Then we have this Remember All from the studio tour. This Flying Ford Anglia. I'm not sure if this is Harry Potter or just a Ford Anglia. I can't remember. Let me have a quick gander underneath. No, I don't think this is Harry Potter merchandise specifically. I think that's just a Ford Anglia. And then we have my Bellatrix Lestrange uh, photo frame, also from the studio tour on my first or second trip. Then I love my prints, my original art prints, as you know. And I did a video on my art prints and I don't think I featured this one, which is a bit of a shame, but there you go. Up at the very, very top there, I'll have to zoom in a little bit, there is my Tonks and Bellatrix candles, both from a company called Mud In My Blood. Behind that, there's a big candle which came from Primark and then tiny, tiny figures of Bellatrix and Tonks just chilling there. Coming down here, this is my bag of Fantastic Beasts and Where To Find Them items. So I don't really want to go through everything, but we have my Niffler, as you can see. And this is just all the Fantastic Beasts merch that I own. Not Crimes of Grindelwald, just Fantastic Beasts, the first film. So we have t-shirts, we have oh, just a wide array of things. We have the uh, soundtrack, the DVDs in there somewhere, my Fantastic Beasts autographs, pyjamas, just lots and lots and lots of stuff in there to do with Fantastic Beasts. And then near here, 
we have another promotion. Now I remember this. So WH Smith's, where I lived, shut down, or where I live, sorry, shut down. And I walked in to see what they had on offer, and this was just chilling there. And I said, Where is that going? And I was like, Oh, it's going in the bin. So I said, No, it's not. <laughs> it's coming home with me. So I got this for free from WH Smith. It's uh, double sided. So behind here, I mean, there's a lovely shot of Matthew Lewis there. Some of you will enjoy that. I have some other bits here, just random bits. And then coming up, we have an article, a Daniel Radcliffe article. Then over in this corner, we have some interesting things. Now, I don't really want to get this out because it's a nightmare, but it's actually a plastic uh, floor mat for, um, I'm assuming, something to do with the Hogwarts Express. And we've got some other books there. These are to do with meets that I've met with Harry Potter actors and lots of other random stuff. And of course, blue tack for when I get new posters. <laughs> so moving up, we have this Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone poster. Again, I think that came from the Warner Brothers Studio Tour. We have this Slytherin um, a hanging thing, which came from Primark. Harry's glasses there. So that's a Ron Weasley plaque, a Harry Potter plaque and a Gryffindor plaque, and I really, really like them. I don't know how many there is, but I need to check that. Then we have a Platform 93 Quarters ticket, and a clock, let me see if I can zoom into that, that was found in a charity shop, I believe, which is pretty, pretty cool. Then moving up the side of the wardrobe, we have more necklaces. This one I've spoke about before. This is actually the same whistle that uh, Madame Hooch wears in the first film. We have another uh, diadem, uh, two of those. We have another Slytherin necklace. I think there's a broomstick here, yeah, broomstick necklace. This is a thing signed from Primark. I also have the Ministry of Magic one, but I took that downstairs and put it above my toilet because I'm that original. And then we have this Hedwig plush keyring, which is from the Platform 93 Quarters shop in London. Then we have Harry's wand here replica and just a random uh, watch. Moving over we have this which I bought at a craft fair I believe. We've got some more necklaces. So this is just a random cat necklace but I thought it was great for a Umbridge cosplay which mum did which was amazing. Then we have the uh, Felix Felicis necklace and a elder wand necklace. So down here it's very very messy and very dark so you might not be able to see anything but this is where I keep all of my playing card sets. We have some Christmas greetings cards from from Primark. We have uh, these new things. Let me see if I can pull a couple of them out. I don't know if they're panini, but you know what I mean. I'm sure you might have seen these cards before in the shops. All my uh, top trumps are right at the back there. You might just be able to see them. Uh, I have Uno cards, just like I said, anything card based. These, I mean, one of the good things about working in Primark, as I used to do, is I used to go into the stock room and all the empty Harry Potter boxes that they were going to get rid of, I just sort of took. I don't even know I did them. So they did the mini snow globes in Primark and this is the box that they came in and I just sort of took it out the stock room and they were like, she's tacky, she's nicking boxes from the stock room again. I said, I am, I'm sorry. I just, I looked a right tit, honestly, the amount of the boxes I brought home. And then we've got a Marauder's Map back here. This is a Ruby's sort of child's costume kit. All of this is playing cards, the whole thing. These are like the Russian nesting dolls and I think they're amazing. Coming round we have the Harry Potter Trivial Pursuit which I think most people have. We have another set of playing cards and then some origami that I did years ago. So that's an origami golden snitch and I have, let me see if I can grab it, an origami sort of Bellatrix the Strange here whose hair is falling off and an origami owl in the corner there. And then moving up the, you can kind of see me, moving up here, we have a couple of pin badges from the Warner Brothers Studio Tour. You can't see them very well, but it's a Slytherin head girl badge, a Quidditch Ireland badge, which just fell off, and a Slytherin prefect badge. And then up here, we have quite a few of the board games and other bits. So we have, oh, there's some coasters right at the very top from Primark, if you can see those. And then we have the Wamping Willow game, Cluedo, the two scenets. We have some bookmarks in here, which was quite cool. This was a box that I got for 50 pence, which I thought was pretty impressive. Um, obviously there is bookmarks in it. We have the Rescue at Hogwarts game, which is pretty confusing. I don't know if I'm just thick. We have the Levitating Challenge, the Hogwarts Dueling Club game. This is a puzzle from China. And then more coasters from Primark. 
We have the Primark um, bunting, which is up in my bedroom. That's the empty box for the one in my bedroom. What's behind here? Another Harry Potter scene it. I didn't know there was three, but evidently there is. Can't get these back up now. And then we have something at the back that's not in English, so to be quite honest with you, I cannot remember what it is. Ah, uh, I remember. So I bought this at auction. It's a glow-in-the-dark make-your-own clock, which is pretty, pretty cool. Obviously, I've never done it because I'm crap at DIYs. And then I just randomly had this up there, which I also didn't include. Oh, the focus. Which I also didn't include in my art prints video last week, but I bought this when I went to Hull with Ian. I think it's from a Geek Gear box or something, but I don't really subscribe to any of those um, boxes, the, the monthly boxes and things and then further up we have that box up there which is just full of Harry Potter plushies I'd like to bring it down but I really can't be bothered if I'm honest with you it's just packed full of different various plushies I think I have done a plush collection on this channel somewhere so they will be there but I just really really can't bring that down right now we have these two and then we have this Hermione in the back and Fang he was one of the first purchases I ever bought from the Warner Brothers studio top but that's pretty cool I don't know if there's anything behind I believe Crookshanks is all the way behind there yeah so I just pulled that Harry down and you can kind of see Crookshanks uh, peeking through just there and then coming down the wardrobe we just have this random post which is falling off. A signed picture from Wise Hufflepuff, who is no longer Wise Hufflepuff, he's now Vagard on YouTube. And then a whatever this is from Primark, a magnetic board I think, which has never been opened. So opening the wardrobe we have a selection of Harry Potter t-shirts. This is not all of the Harry Potter clothing I own, it's ridiculous the amount I own. So these are just random t-shirts and cosplay stuff. And then down here is just a mess that you can hardly see. So we have some shoes from Primark, some Harry Potter shoes. We have my Slytherin robes. We have more t-shirts and there's a bag here, I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's one of those... Um, what they're called foldable shoppers and that is just full of socks, uh, clothes, uh, hats, scarves, ties, just the lot really. So I'm really not going to go through that with you. And then for people who subscribe for my autographs, these shelves, uh, these are, uh, what they're called, I can't even remember, drawers. Oh, I'm losing the will. <laughs> These drawers will be quite familiar because this is my autograph collection. And then we have all my other folders in here. Then in here is just a mess. So I have more phone cases than I can count. These are from different phones over the years. I obviously got attached to this Bellatrix Strange phone case because I have it three times for three different phones. Um, I must have swapped my phone and just wanted the same phone case. That's a bit embarrassing. Uh, we have a hat in here. This is just full of stuff. So we have the uh, headband. And the Storybrook cosmetic brushes, which Daniel bought me. Thank you, Daniel. Um, lots and lots of Primark stuff in here. Uh, pin badges, key rings, makeup. The new boot, well, it's not really new anymore, but the boots makeup's in there and lots and lots of other bits. Moving down here, we have pyjamas. That is full of pyjamas. This one is full of pyjamas. This is a platform nine and three quarters bag. This is from Katie, I believe and it's this 2019 deluxe calendar which I'd never seen before which is amazing then over in this corner you can just about spot a poster just over there we have these gift bags from Primark which I'm never going to use they're uh, I'm keeping those and then we have what have we got down there let's have a look I think my bag for my sleeping bag, maybe another poster. Now this here, I'm not going to get it out because I've done videos on it before. This is my, I forgot what you call them, premiere poster. So you know when you go to a movie premiere or any premiere really and they have the, um, like the metal fences and on the metal fences are these giant uh, promotional plastic poster things you know what I mean I don't know it's too hot okay <laughs> and then in these drawers this is just full of stuff moving on to this drawer I'm not gonna go through it all but this is all of my trading cards up at the top let me just get up this is more trading cards along with a couple of playbills in there then up at the top here we have my Slytherin poster again which is from the Warner Brothers studio tour some more studio tour bits and just random articles we have oh, right this is a bit of a mess so we have some trading 
trading card boxes with trading cards in them. We have this, which was one of my favourite items for a long time, and it is a sealed Harry Potter bubble bath. So there is still bubble bath in there, that was from eBay. Then we have this Hermione doll. So the new Harry Potter dolls have come out now, but this is one of the old, old Mattel ones. We have some Harry Potter baubles from Primark. Oh, these two dolls are really funny, I'll pop those out. So these are really old dolls, and they're just, I mean, the Hermione is the most hilarious thing I've ever seen. Let me zoom in. I don't know if you can see her properly, but she oh, she just makes me howl. So down here you won't be able to see them, but we also have loads and loads of puzzles. If I just, oh, things are gonna move. If I just move these notebooks out of the way, all of those are puzzles down there. Then this is actually one of my favorite pieces. This is a toothbrush and toothbrush holder, just because these are really, really hard to get hold of now. And then down here we have a Slytherin glass that a neighbor made for me. We have some more stationary bits. This is another bubble bath, which has been used, not by me, but I found this on eBay. There's still a little bit in there and then we have this Hagrid um, book oh, what they're called that go on the end of your box and then we have this Gringotts bank thing which I most recently got actually I think that was for my birthday last year then we have some notebooks here in yet another stolen uh, box from the Primark stock room <laughs> obviously they know I did it so it's not really stolen but you know so these are just uh, different different notebooks there different variations and things. And moving round we have my chair. This is a bit of a spoiler for an, an autograph update which I've only got the one so never mind. This is like I said my sleeping bag. We've got my pillows. So this Slytherin pillow is from the studio tour. This is from Primark. It was a gift from Katie I think. This, oh Mark shout out if you're watching. Pride of place. Mark's mum made me this for Christmas. I just love it. Then we have some more pillows both Primark I think and there's a pillow behind as well which is also another Primark pillow. And then moving on we have this section which is quite messy. So we have my talking sorting hat which my mum recently bought me, well my mum and dad for Christmas. And then we have this Voldemort alarm clock I think. One of my most prized possessions now, this Crimes of Grindelwald. This was in Tesco and uh, I just asked if I could have it and they said yes. So this was a promotion for when the film was coming out on DVD. These rip off so I got it on the third day obviously. I wish that it would have been uh, complete but obviously the probably wouldn't have given it to me at the very day that they got it. Then we have my Bellatrix of Strange poster from the studio tour. Lots of studio tour bits up there. I have moved that out of the way and we are on to my bookcase. So I won't talk about this too much because I've done lots of bookcase tours, but we have all of my different Harry Potter books across there, including my first ever Harry Potter book, this Goblet of Fire, which has seen better days. Down here we have some more, some more Harry Potter books. These are miscellaneous books here. Tales of Beetle the Bard, Quidditch Through the Ages, Fantastic Beasts. These are all my video games, so I'm very, very close to having a full collection of Harry Potter video games. I'm about 10 off, I think, of having a full set of Harry Potter video games. Then we move on to the DVDs, which I'm not gonna go on too much about. Obviously we've got the VHS there. I've done lots and lots of videos on these before. And then more miscellaneous Harry Potter books. Again, I think I've spoke about all of these before, so I don't really need to go into too much detail about them. And then moving down, we have some Fantastic Beasts books as well. This is the sticker, Panini sticker kits that they were doing for Crimes of Grindelwald and Fantastic Beasts. We have my magazine collection of Fantastic Beasts magazines, just all here. Uh, more books, I'm sorry you can't see them very well. Down here, just more books again, more, more magazines. And these are some of my favourites. I know if you are a Harry Potter collector, these tend to be the favourite ones. So we have Page to Screen, we have uh, the Character Vault, the Artifact Vault, uh, Magical Places, Film Wizardry twice, and the Creature Vault. They're just amazing books, I do love those. Then we'll move down here, and this is my audiobooks collection. I don't have all of them, but I have a couple on cassette as well. That's all the audio books that I have, along with this hanging broomstick here. We have some sweet things here, which you'd have seen on my Instagram, because I recently posted about my Harry Potter sweets, so I won't talk about those too much. We have my CD collection just here. These are all different CDs. We have some of the Arthur Price spoons here, which I got from Comic-Cons. Then this is, like I said, all my sweets collection. I'm not going to get them out because I just can't. There's so many there and I have just done a video, a uh, pictures on my Instagram, sorry. And of course the infamous or famous orange, which was used in Harry Potter. This was an orange from the Great Hall set. And then we have my Death Eater mask that my dad made me. There is something under here, actually. I think, let me see. I think it's the Slytherin stationery set. And then I'm 
just gonna pop this back because it's just chilling in the middle of the room and I'll get back to you. So I'm conscious that this video is quite long so I'm gonna try and uh, get through it as quick as I can. But we have my giant uh, Nifla Funko Pop. Thank you, Mum. We have these, which uh, Mum and Dad bought me for Christmas. We have my Harry Potter crackers. Again, these are quite hard to find now, the Christmas crackers, because when they were bought, people obviously, well, use them, you know. These were from Marks and Spencers, I believe, back in the day, but I got them on eBay. Some more trading card bits. My most viewed, which I'm very shocked about, video on my channel is my review of this collectible Quidditch um, set and we have some uh, wrapping paper there and down here we have the Crimes of Grindelwald uh, album that I have yet to finish some you can't even see but there's some photos there that are going out for autographs this box here is my um, magazine collection which I'm not going to get into right now and then underneath is my tonnard box for my Voldemort tonnard doll now these drawers are just filled with stuff as well so I'm going to open them as carefully as I can this drawer is filled with towels socks uh, underwear basically all the Primark goodness like that this drawer is just full of paper paper based bits so we have stamps we have calendars we have my photo albums from the, stu the studio tour, my professional photos from the studio tour, magnets, just anything papery really is in there, greetings cards. And then this is my miscellaneous drawer which is just full of bits as well. So we have this photo frame, more greetings cards, we have my full set of the Gringotts coins, uh, we have this, this is really interesting actually, it's a Sotheby's program from when they um, sold the Tales of Beale the Bard, the one that JK Rowling had originally um, wrote in, what well, wrote I believe, you know what I mean. <laughs> and then we have this which is really interesting, advanced potion making. I can't remember the person who made these, they're not making them anymore, but I snapped one up and it's got everything in it, it's very uh, screen accurate. Similarly, just under there there is the life and lies of Albus Dumbledore. We also have, and this came all the way from America and I love it, it's one of those push penny machines which I'm sure you've all seen, I don't know if it'll focus properly, but it says Harry Potter's magic coin and this was from uh, a theme park in America I believe and they had to shut it down not the old theme park but just the machine because they didn't actually have the copyright for Harry Potter moving up here we probably have my favorite parts of my Harry Potter collection so we'll start on this side we have this uh, candle which my mum bought me at Comic-Con my Nymphadora Tonks chest that I made which uh, <coughs> sorry I'm losing my voice doing this which I've shown on previous videos I'm really proud of that because I'm not very good at DIY these are all of the mystery minis that I currently own I don't own too many of them and then down here we have some Fantastic Beasts ones. So this one came all the way from America when you couldn't get them in the UK. This was from SDCC, San Diego Comic Con. So then we have Queenie Goldstein's wand, Poppentina's and Sarah from the Pickeries. These are my favourite things ever. So we have my Gentle Giant busts. So we have Fred and George Weasley. My favourite piece probably in the entire collection, my Bellatrix the Strange Gentle Giant bust. Ephemera Greyback, Harry Potter and Nifedora Tonks, another one of my favourite pieces. I'd love to get more of these, but they are so, so expensive now. Then we have a random Harry which came with a magazine, I think. If you can see right back there, there's a Harry Potter action figure. Uh, Luna Lovegood Rock Candy, these are all the rock candies that I own. So we have Harry, Hermione, Ron and Bellatrix. They've since released a few new ones, I believe. And then we have one of my prized possessions, my Voldemort Tonner doll. Uh, my parents got this for a steal on eBay, which was great. We have my die casts, the Hogwarts Express and the Night Bus. Sirius Black figure there. A lenticular poster at the back there. Moving up here, we have just some random key rings and bits. I'm so sorry that this video is so long. My badge collection from the 2001 set, which my dad finished for me. Then we have another original art print that I didn't put in my video, never mind. Um, we have uh, Bellatrix of Strangers second wand, Bellatrix's dagger which is one of my favourite pieces as well, that's Noble Collection. We have the Noble Collection Gringotts coins, this was a gift from my friend from Canada. My Bellatrix of Strange action figure there. Then we have my Magical Creatures set, which I absolutely love. This is the official first wave, I believe. Um, they have got Fantastic Beast ones out now and some new ones, I think, but I'm not too sure. Then moving up here, we have the new Mattel dolls. I have all of them that were released in the original wave. They've since released some Triwizard Tournament ones and Harry and Draco and Quidditch outfits, I believe. But I have all the original ones, the sun at the back as well. I don't want to move too many things, but you can see them. 
And then we have another mystery mini there, and these are pewter figures, which are amazing. Up top we have my Funko collection, which I won't go into too much detail about, because again, I've done lots and lots of videos on those before. We're nearing the end now, but moving down here, we have all of my Harry Potter bags. So there's labels and stickers and random weird stuff in there. Um, <laughs> we have all of my mugs and cups. There's They extend all the way down to the back, but you can't see because the lighting is just so shocking in here. My um, plates are there as well, my um, Royal Dalton, I had to think about that, my Royal Dalton plates, I have a few are at the back there. Uh, that's just full, like I said, but I can't show you because it's too dark. Then here we have my wands, there's only two official wands here, from the Studio Tour, which is Nymphadora Tonks and Severus Snape. That is my official Alavans wand, all of the rest here are fake. So at the top we have my Monster Book of Monsters, which I bought at a Comic Con. We have some, oh these new little wand uh, things that you can buy, mystery ones, some stuff from Primark, that's from a Geek Gear box, it's a set of rubbers I think, or a loot crate, something like that. This Grim Cup that my friend Katie bought me, thank you Katie. We have my John Campling wand in the corner there, these are from Primark. This Voldemort, maybe that's the alarm clock, no that's like a jeweling thing. Uh, we have this egg cup and a uh, toast set which my mum's um, friend Vicky bought me and then of course my prized possession which is my official JK Rowling autograph which I begged and pleaded for for years and this is from the studio tour as well when they were doing the Goblet of Fire promotion. Then we have this Elba Stumbledore, we have this poster signed by four members of the cast. This which I strongly believe is a fake, uh, I do need to move that off my wall because I don't think it's real at all. I've since had autographs from Rupert and Dan and they don't look anything like that so I'm gonna get rid of that eventually. And then we have this Dobby from the studio tour. We have this Lucius Malfoy cane, that is not uh, the official one, but again, for the money, it doesn't matter to me at all. And just some other little bits down there. Up here we have these sort of Gryffindor, some Harry Potter bags randomly. This you won't be able to see very well, but this is all of my action figures, which I'm going to do an updated video on soon, if you guys would like to see that. We have my Dobby, some more action figures. Down here we have some play sets, uh, the Room of Requirement play set and some other bits. Like I said, if you want a video on action figures, uh, let me know and I'll do that. We have some Lego sets, some other little bits down there. This is my Cursed Child section, love it or hate it. I'm not going to get into that in this video, but this is all of the Cursed Child things that I own. And then finally we have my chess set, uh, which came with magazines, I don't have the magazines. I paid £50 for the whole lot years ago um, near where I live with my dad. We went to collect it and I thought it was an amazing deal. We have just some more random bits on the wall, including a full-size cinema poster that is from my local cinema. And then just down at the bottom we have a couple of the duffel, not duffel bags, um, I forgot what this type of bag is called. Satchel, there you go. Two satchels from Primark. Um, some other bits there and another bag just chilling in the corner there. So that's pretty much it. I'll give you another quick overview. Let me stand up. Uh, sorry I kind of rushed a bit at the end, but this video is going to be incredibly long, so I'm really, really sorry for that. But yeah, that's my Harry Potter collection, almost in full. So like I said, I will be doing an action figure collection soon of all those, and let me know if you want to see anything else in more detail. So thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Like I said, let me know if there's anything else you want to see, and I'll be more than happy to do it. And I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.